After a powerful earthquake hit Haiti in mid-August, foreign aid teams and local volunteers have been working around the clock to help local residents get their lives back on track. In the community of Marceline, north of Lecay, people inform us that at least 95% of houses are completely collapsed. The 5% left standing have great structural damage. People around here are in great need of food, water, clothes, and medical supplies. Rachel Alford is a volunteer paramedic with the international non-governmental organization team Rubicon. When her team arrived in Haiti, Alford said the first thing they did was asking the Haitian doctors how they could help. Los doctores, enfermeras y todo aquí está trabajando muchísimo, tratando a su propio gente en una situación muy difícil. Es muy importante para nosotros como ayudan a ellos. Uh, preguntan a ellos qué necesita, cómo puede ayudar, cómo puede trabajar junto a ellos. Luis Alva, leader of the Mexico-based group International Rescue Topos AC, said they have worked closely with local people, especially with Haitian firefighters, who they believe have done a great job. Alva said that the last thing that should happen is to lose hope, and while at this point it is difficult to find signs of life among the debris, it is not impossible. Mira, es poco probable, no imposible, ya que la gente haitiana es bastante resistente. Y bueno, por la experiencia en otros sismos, después de muchos días, de más de una semana, han salido gente con vida. No es imposible, ya es muy poco probable. So far, more than 2,200 people have died from the 7.2 magnitude earthquake that occurred on August 14th. Hundreds more remain missing.